Hello everyone. Uh, we will we will write one more test case in the Cucumber BDD framework with Cypress. So the test case, no, oh, I am going to write one negative test case here. Uh, see here. So this is our application, right? This is our demo application. Okay, so I am clicking on the, I am using invalid credentials, <laughs> wrong username and the wrong password. So our admin I am giving admin one two three so a i am giving small here a is there just we will see what is the message okay still it is working okay some wrong password i'll give instead of admin no what i'll give oh. admin one two three okay i will try to give so invalid credentials so this is our negative test case now okay this is the test case we are going to automate Okay, go here. So login scenario, right? Huh? Just create step definition. No? Before step definition, we create feature file. We should know what is feature file. No? Then we, when you know the steps, then it is very easy to create the no? step definition. Okay. Login to now login orange HRM application with invalid credentials dot feature file this is our feature file okay log into the application log into the orange HRM application with invalid credentials okay okay so feature no just you can copy uh, same thing whatever we created no feature and description will be same okay and from here we'll create scenario scenario what is the scenario log into the into the orange hrm hrm website with invalid credentials okay this is our scenario given launch launch HRM application URL okay application URL okay and then enter the valid username and enter the valid password enter the invalid okay invalid username and the valid password and then Click on login button and verify the error message display. Okay, this is our test case now. Okay, with this test case, you write a step definition. Not JS. Okay. Import and then from Cypress test. Okay, it got imported. This is fine. Cypress test given. Launch on the website I created another file right instead of creating another file what I can do I can add this same thing here only in the same scenario 
So all the test cases will be at one place, right? Okay, add here only. Okay. Application URL, enter valid username, valid password. Okay, invalid username, right? Enter invalid username, enter password, click on button. See here, I will tell you one important thing here. Okay, now just observe, this is the test file, right? Here, I will not write any given. See, I will not write given here, means, this step you no know, given a launch orange orange charm application URL. You know, this step I am not writing here. Okay, in this test case. Why no? So always the test case you no. Know, so already we can see right this test case is already defined in this in this based on this already the test case is created with different in different step definitions we have already given this step okay this step is created so as per the cucumber bdd you don't need to write this step step definition every time so it is enough this step is enough it will pick the step definition from any of this folder under this test case okay we will see i will not add this one okay it will pick automatically from the step definitions because it's already created it's a kind of reusable it will pick automatically that is the advantage of cucumber pdd okay right for the this one then enter the invalid username okay then okay enter the invalid username So copy same step now. Yeah, okay. Or I will type it cy dot get the element. What is the invalid username field now? This element we need to capture this element. Capture this element now. So name placeholder will go to placeholder now. Okay. not type so what i can type so here i am passing the invalid username what i can pass aho okay so here just pass the string so give the parameter user one keep same thing here user one okay now you don't write for this one again enter the valid password no already here it is there enter the valid password okay it will pick from the this test case here somewhere else we have written no enter the valid password right this one it will pick here this password it will be this step will pick okay and and click on login button also don't create it and verify the error message just take this one and and verify the message displayed. Say when you type here, no, oh, this one we need to capture invalid credential. No? We need to capture this one. Capture this. So what is this invalid credential text, right? Get this message. 
P dot control V. This is my class. Okay. One of six it is matching now. How many it is matching? One of six. Is there any way we can go with this one? See what another ten match one, two, okay, three, four, five, six. This is matching six elements. Mm. So this is the element invalid branches under this. Copy this one and pause Just put the this is also class do dot control v space okay this one no space u dot okay one of one element is matching right this one you can pick this one control i am i identify the css address go here type here cy dot and get this element okay okay dot should contain should contain text what it should contain invalid credentials this this text we are valid with this text okay 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 see now see totally the test case no this test case contains five steps one two three four five so for this scenario no i have not created here five steps only two steps are created so remaining three steps it is picking from some other test cases that is the advantage of cucumber bdd okay so just we'll run and run and check the test case okay go here launch it see it is giving some error or refresh it i still notice one what is the wrong with it? No, it is correct, right? So invalid credentials I am giving here. Close it again. I will reopen it. First thing, reopen it and later we'll check what is the error. So these files are not giving any error. I have enabled the autos here, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm running this test. See now this file contains totally three tests. Sort of steps. Okay. You started running the test cases. Okay. See so totally it will execute three test cases. First test case with hard coded value, username and password I am sending. Second one is a parameterized test. Third one is a negative scenario. Negative test case, we are logging, try to log in with invalid credentials. Okay. So, okay, click on login button, what it is telling. Click on login button. Missing, missing for why it is missing. See, valid password, it worked now, but why click login button is missing. So you need to go to the feature file and check. See here the difference now. What I did here, the test case now. Click on login button. Login is a caps. So same copy paste it here. See the test description now. The test step should be common. 
Okay, that's why it failed. Now it will run. See. See, the third test case got passed. Invalid credentials we got, right? See? And also, this invalid credentials, no? I'm trying to, instead of hard coding, what I can do? So instead of hard coding here, just we can do, so let it be this step same. I'm copying this. Just pasting, okay. And just I'm commenting this line. So in of invalid, take this invalid credentials. Just param we are parameterizing. Go here and just do here double quotes give invalid credentials and go here and provide here string string huh? error message error message capture this error message. Copy and paste here. This contains this error message. Now let it run the test cases. It should pass the third test case. Yeah, it is working right. It is running and it is working. I hope this is very helpful, guys. Thank you. Thank you.